Hi family, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome to Rosie Natural. To start, let me give you a little background story. I've been natural since 2016 and April 2021 was my fifth anniversary. But in my first four years, I battled with extreme dry and flaky scalp condition for which I saw dermatological treatment but problems still persisted. And it's one of the reasons I went natural anyway because I thought I could wash my hair as often as I needed at home. I recall going to the hairdressing salon and getting my hair washed by two people because the second person thought maybe the first person didn't do a good job and she also washes my hair and she realized there's still dandruff. That is how extreme it was. For this reason, I manipulated my hair a lot because I needed to wash and style it so frequently. My hair was breaking a lot and this unhealthy scalp was a major setback in my natural hair journey. So fast forward in 2020, healthy scalp was my first goal when I became intentional about caring for my own hair. And so I started learning about how to maintain a healthy scalp. And this is what has worked for me. First, I do an apple cider vinegar treatment on every wash day and this happens at least once in every two weeks. I'll leave a link in the description to my full wash day video. The apple cider vinegar has antifungal and antibacterial properties and so it helps to keep scalp infection and itchiness at bay. It also balances the pH of the scalp as well well and this is what my scalp needed. In my experience, it works. Secondly, I shampoo my scalp once every two weeks. The third thing I do to maintain a healthy scalp is to re-moisturize my scalp in between washes. I do this once every other day or even daily depending on my scalp needs. I do this by spraying a bit of warm water on my scalp and then I massage it in before I apply oil to my scalp. And that brings me to my fourth point. Oiling my scalp has been really helpful to me. It doesn't work for some people, but it has worked for me. I started using oils like sweet almond and egan oils, both of which helps in reducing dandruff. Peppermint and rosemary are the two essential oils I do add to my oil blend. For the past four months, I usually put all these oils in one bottle, and then whenever I'm ready to oil my scalp, I put a little on my fingertips and massage it onto my scalp. I believe it's the combination of everything I do to maintain a healthy scalp that actually gives me the result. And not just the apple cider vinegar treatment or just the oiling or just the re-moisturizing but they all come together to give me the result. Now to retain hair length, I needed to put in measures to reduce the breakage and shedding because that was my second challenge. The main thing I identified as the cause of my hair breakage was lack of moisture in my hair. So I learned how to moisturize my hair and also help my hair to retain some moisture when I do. And this is how I achieved that. I started using pre-shampoo treatment, amla oil to be specific. I used to use coconut oil and honestly it left my hair so soft after an hour of pre-shampoo. I usually warm up my oils a bit before I pre-shampoo. But what I noticed when I started using amla oil was that my hair breakage and shedding drastically reduced. It took me some time to notice this difference on my hair. Maybe it's probably just me, but this has been my experience. Some people say the smell of amla oil is quite strong. Yes, but I don't see it that way because normally after shampooing, I don't perceive anything at all. I've been using amla oil for the past five months and I like what it does. My findings about amla oil has actually led me into Ayurveda. And so recently I've been trying some Ayurvedic treatments for my hair. Not necessarily to grow out my hair, but to strengthen my hair and follicles so as to reduce breakage and shedding. The second thing I'd like to mention here when it comes to my hair and moisture is shampoo. I tried a couple of shampoos and later settled on TGIN Moisture Rich Sulfate Free Shampoo. From my experience, it doesn't strip my hair after use and so that is my regular shampoo. But every once in a while, I clarify my hair with apple cider vinegar so as to remove any buildup. And this process is quite different from how I treat my scalp with apple cider vinegar. The next thing I do is deep conditioning. I cannot overemphasize the importance of deep conditioning in my hair care regimen. I usually deep condition with my regular conditioner, olive oil and honey. I put that together, apply it to my hair, and cover it for at least 30 minutes. Sometimes it's up to an hour or even more. But I don't do overnight treatments. 
the fourth thing I do is moisturizing my hair and putting it in protective or low manipulative hairstyles. I do this by spraying water in my hair. Sometimes I add a little conditioner to the water. I spray that in my hair, work the water into my hair and I follow that with penetrating oils. I have a blend of sweet almond, egan, grapeseed oils and vegetable glycerin. I coat my fingers lightly with the oil blend and I work that into my hair. And finally seal that with my shea butter mix. Now there are other things I do which includes finger detangling on wash days. I'll leave a link in the description to a video on how I detangle and pre-pull on wash days for length retention. I also comb my hair with a wide tooth comb if I have to and do that only when there is moisture in my hair. I do protein treatment every 6 to 8 weeks to help with protein moisture balance. There might probably be some things I do to my hair which I have overlooked but I'll try to update you on my hair care regimen as and when there are any changes. To summarize, I do apple cider vinegar scalp treatment on every wash day. I shampoo my scalp at least once in every two weeks. I re-moisturize and oil my scalp every other day or as and when the need arises. For length retention, I reduce breakage by giving my hair the needed moisture through pre-shampooing, the use of moisturizing shampoo, deep conditioning, moisturizing my hair and putting it in protective style. I comb with a wide tooth comb to avoid breakage and also do a protein treatment every 6 to 8 weeks to strengthen the hair. I also dust off my ends every 3 months or as and when the need arises. 